For this demonstration, we'll walk through how to submit a license update request. So from the provider management dashboard, you'll search or select the appropriate MPI for which you wish to make the license update. Once that MPI has been returned in the results, you can click the ellipses and then view to open the enrollment record associated to that MPI. Once the enrollment record has been opened, in the top right, you can click the edit enrollment record button. This will display the available request types for that MPI. You can review the maintenance licenses request type and then click create request. Once the request has been created, it'll take you directly to the license certifications accreditation screen within your enrollment record. You can click the ellipses of any licenses that are currently on file and then open. And then enter in any additional information that's needed to complete your license record, as well as update the ex expiration date or make corrections to the effective date. If available, you can upload an attachment of your license to confirm that that information is accurate. Once you've made your changes, you can click Save. If you wish to add additional licenses, you can click the Add Licenses, Certifications, or Accreditations button. This will allow you to select the license certification or accreditation type, as well as any Healthy Texas Women attestations. Once you've made your type selection, then you can select your issuer. And then enter in the additional relevant information as it pertains to your license and issuer. Depending on the type and issuer selected, additional fields may display that need to be completed that are affiliated with your license, certification, or accreditation type. Once you've made all your changes and selected all of the appropriate information, you can click Save. Once all edits have been made to the licenses, certifications, and accreditations view, you can click Submit All Changes. Once the process has been completed, you'll see your request number in the message pop-up box. Please notate that reference number, and then you can click OK. With that reference number, you'll be able to view that request status from the Requests dashboard. You can do a search for that particular request and see the status and be able to identify any additional status updates, whether or not it's under PE review or if it's been closed approved. 